a very spiritual, spiritually vibrant, I should say, lady that's going to be taking the stage now. She's a bachelor, she has a bachelor's of science in geology, which actually somehow led to her getting into sacred geometry, energy portals, and everything in between. Sounds very interesting, very intriguing to say at least. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Paula Herlock. What are you, fabulous? Yeah, no, I'm gonna give it to Tommy yeah. Shulwak. I love man. Come on now. Take a spin. Take a spin. Luxury, yeah. fabulous. Let me step out her spotlight. Her spotlight. Long story short, I'm a Pisces, so you know <laughs> we have no business with money. We don't. We don't think it's a priority. Yes. So, you know, when I was younger. I realized that I did not need money to survive. I could function without money. Of course, my parents were very distressed because they're like, okay, this one don't have no ambition. She don't, she's not making the connection between money and success. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I can, I can do, I can do, I can, I can travel from, I'm from Montevideo. I can travel from Montevideo to Kingston with no money at the time. When I come out and I say, oh, my gas finished, you know, I'm going to be assisted, right guys? <laughs> so, anyway. In my adult years, 30 years of working, I've only really worked 9 to 5 and earned, you know, comfortably and completely for about 8 of those years. So, 8 fat years, 22 lean years. Okay, so yes, true, true. So anyway, I have a baby when I'm 32. Of course, nobody thought I was gonna have a baby again, but yeah, I came up with that. And of course, boyfriend just emerged into this world. Of course, remember, mother's net worth is about US $100, right? No joke. This boy comes into the world and everything he wants or needs, he gets. Don't ask me how, he just gets it. Beautiful child, loved by all, gets everything. So he turns 13 and coming of age in Montego Bay is to go to Sunfest. So I'm like, okay, you're gonna get to go to Sunfest. And I say, all right, remember, I, I was probably in one of the lean years, so. A Thumbfest ticket was quite a... Yes. Anyway, I produced and he was happy. A couple of hours later he comes up, Mommy, um, it's, a, it's a VIP ticket I need because all of my friends are VIP. And um, yeah, VIP. And I'm like, I had given the lecture, listen Dylan, <laughs> I'm a VIP. I don't need to spend the money to prove that I'm a VIP and you shouldn't either. So you just need to know that you are a VIP and you don't have to spend to validate your VIP. Yes. So he's like, well, fine then. I have the money. I'll put my money on top of your money and I'll get my VIP ticket. And he just moves on. He got what he wanted. Anyway, long story short, I finally realized that no, he's 13. I still have to carry him to some vest. That means uh, me have to buy one next ticket for me. No, remember these are the linears. I'm like, what? Anyway, I can't put this burden on anybody else. I have to buy the ticket. So I vex now, like yep. vex. Anyway, I grudgingly head on down. And I see this boy bounding, happy, going to meet all them friends, they're in VIP, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I just can't buy a regular ticket and carry him up to VIP and put him down and leave. So somewhere between the parking lot and the entrance gate, I had this conversation with myself. Shame that this little boy know that he's a VIP and I don't know that I'm a VIP. And I said, you know what? I am going to listen to him because he probably knows the truth because it seems to me that somewhere between my embodying this concept of 
I can get by with or without money. And the present moment that I was in, I had developed something called the poverty consciousness, where you, you don't have any money so often that what you do have is never enough. But I didn't know it had a name at the time. So I had developed that, not knowing that. Anyway, I grudgingly said, you know, I am going to step into my VIP self, and I'm going to, to it's not like I didn't have the money. I had the money, but I was like, why well, I must spend it on that? I don't know who it is. Anyway, I said, I'm just going to go and buy the VIP ticket anyway. And I grudgingly walked behind him, and we got to the counter. And the lady looks on him, and she goes, how old him is? I said, he's 13. She said, she said Chuck. He look like 12. Make him go on in for you. Just use a one VIP ticket and on a go on in. <laughs> so, the gate fly. Now, that was for me the gate fly. In that moment that I recognized and accepted that I was, you know, that I was prepared to move into that space of being the VIP without spending a cent, I moved into that space and entered the gate or passed through the gate as a VIP. So the moral of the story is not really the gate being flown. It's really the fact that the universe will meet you at the vibration that you're vibrating at. So when you vibrate at a higher level, then the world literally throws the doors open to allow you to come through, right? So that is my fly the gate moment, but I just want to add on a little piece. You see, 2020, that was a fly the gate moment, moment for humanity. A lot of people were so busy being uncomfortable with the lockdowns and being uncomfortable with the things that they couldn't do that they became miserable and depressed, not recognizing that the, the lockdowns and the pandemic was a fly the gate moment for them to reconnect with their self, their higher self, their divine self. And I tell you this, there were many, many fly the gate moments in 2020 for many people. The amount of new authors new entrepreneurs, new motivational speakers, new authors, that new artists, new artists that came about in 2020 is unbelievable. And me, I had another fly the moment moment last year. Now my mother always calls me Miss P, Eva Paula. My friends call me Sister P. But then I noticed my mother started to refer to me as her spinster daughter. Anybody knows what the definition of a spinster is? Well, yes, last year, the gate fly. <laughs> I got married. <laughs> my husband is over there, it's Patrick. It's his birthday, so let us say happy birthday to him. And at midnight, it will be our first anniversary. So, I've had many a fly the gate moments since that initial fly the gate. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.